What is up everyone? Today I have some very exciting information for you. Apart from huge, huge updates coming in from the XR and VR space onto Android devices, I also have some news and maybe tips to help you guys out with version 27 because a lot of you seem to be having issues and a lot of people on the Discord have come out saying they have found some solutions. So we're gonna go through those solutions, hopefully help some of you out. And then after that, I'm gonna take you guys through the brand new features of Android and show you how to do photogrammetry because so many of you wanted to know how to scan the real world into VR. Let's get right into it. First of all, looking at the Oculus Quest version 27 update, it's ruined quite a few people's experience, unfortunately. It's, it's highly unfortunate, especially when it comes to the Oculus Link. However, a lot of people are also having issues within the headset itself. Um, I really need to show this to you guys because I think this is really weird. I've just now encountered the weirdest issue ever. So on my phone, you can see that my quest is in the standard menu, right? Just no nothing special. And then you look inside the quest and it's, it's pass through. It's pass through and it won't let me out of pass through. No matter how hard I try, I am stuck in pass through and the quest thinks it's within virtual desktop. See, it thinks it's inside virtual desktop when in reality it's actually in pass through. I've tried resetting it, I've tried restarting it. No matter what I do, it just, it, it won't let me out of pass through. So I'm kind of stuck in this weird AR like mode where the controllers are like virtual, like, but I'm in AR, like, what is this? So here is what you want to do if you're having issues within the headset. First of all, restart your headset. I know so many people that don't actually power off their headset ever. They just put it in standby mode. And some people say that's good, some people say that's bad. I'm one of those people that personally turns off their headset every time they're done using it. Say what you want about it, that's just the way I do things. Restart your headset. It will clear the cache and hopefully fix most of your problems. However, if it doesn't, the Guardian has been known to cause a lot of these issues, which is actually why originally I didn't have them at all because I actually have the Guardian disabled. Now, that's not something I recommend unless you wanna walk into all your walls. So what you will want to do if you're having tracking glitches, apps won't open or freezing, is you want to clear your Guardian history. Now, this will remove all your Guardians. Chances are you're having problems with the Guardian anyway. Basically what this will do is it will remove them from the history of the headset. The headset will no longer know where it is. You'll have to redraw your Guardian every single room that you had to draw it in in the past. I mean, I don't think that's a very big deal to be honest, but it has been known to help a lot of people. In fact, just yesterday, it helped out somebody on the Discord. Now, those are the two things, very, very simple. I know, extremely simple, but they may not come to mind instantly, that you can do on your headset in case you want to fix standalone problems. Now, in case you're still having standalone problems, Join our Discord, we're happy to help, and try and hopefully figure something out for you, because that's what the VR community does. However, with the link, it gets a little bit more complicated, because people have tried a lot of things, and unfortunately, I can't say we have a one fix for all on the Oculus Link. That's just not the case. People have reset their computers, updated drivers, deleted and reinstalled the Oculus app, Nothing seems to help. Now, a lot of people are saying if you turn off the public test channel inside your Oculus app on your PC, it actually fixes most of their problems with the link. I cannot confirm this nor deny this because my link has actually been running fine for the last 24 hours. I just tested it. But that is what a lot of people are saying. A lot of people are also saying that if you get out of the beta channel, you're stuck with 75 hertz, which is slightly confusing. And then some people are saying it works perfectly fine for them. So I guess it's just a matter of what computer you have. Do not format your computer. Usually that won't help. Usually there are chances that that might help. It's usually like the first thing a company tells you to do before you send back a product. They're like, reset it, see if that helps. But it's not something you usually need to do with your PC. If it was running fine before and you didn't change anything about it, it shouldn't have stopped working to begin with. But hey, this is technology, so you know what? Sometimes that happens and sometimes resets do help. But before you reset, have that be like the final, final stage. Try update your drivers. Updating drivers is a huge, huge help. And stop the USB from going to sleep, if that makes any sense whatsoever. You can actually disable USB sleeping inside the device manager. And once you do that, hopefully that will fix your problems. You can also try uninstall and reinstall link drivers. Playing around with drivers can sometimes be messy and I, I, I really don't like it. 
but sometimes it is just necessary. So again, hopefully these things help you out. Again, they're very, very simple, not big things at all, but they do help. And again, they're not something that instantly comes to mind. And they have been known to help people on the Discord. Once again, if this doesn't help, feel free to join our Discord. We're happy to help. But now, moving on to Android Web XR. Yesterday, Google AR and VR tweeted out something that we have been waiting for for a very, very long time. We have finally received a collection of WebXR experiments available on Android phones. And as was said in the comments section, what took you so long? Currently, these are just experiments, but I do want to share them with you because I think a lot of people are going to have an Android device. And I mean, iPhones have had this for quite some time now. So it's about time Android gets their pick of the pie. Launching the website and clicking on any of the experiments here, you are actually free to launch the experiment and try it out yourself. So my device is fully compatible with AR core as well, which I presume hopefully would help. So here we go. We have the screen right here and looking around, position the tunnel with this marker, then tap it to see what's going on on the other side. So let's tap. And as you can see, it knows it's on the floor. We can actually walk around it and it will stay in the same position. And now let's see what's on the other side. Nothing, actually. <laughs> Seems to be the Bering Sea. Southern Ocean. Why do you keep taking me to oceans? Land, there we go. Let's go to land. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that, that, uh, hell yeah. There we go. Check this out, guys. It's right next to my door. And unfortunately, the hands do overlap. But it does know where the floor is, which is actually insane. They made a social distancing radar, guys. I mean, I can't try this out because I am currently social distancing. So plus it's raining. <laughs> that is pretty, that, that's pretty cool though. So there you guys go. You have access to try out a few of these experimental features on your Android device. And hopefully there's more to see in the future. Now let's move on to photogrammetry because a lot of you wanted to talk about photogrammetry last time I mentioned it. And photogrammetry is really, really cool because you can take your device and scan any object into the virtual world. Basically make an OBJ file of it, a 3D object. And let's say I wanted to scan this Walkman right here. So what I would do is you'd basically take as many pictures as possible of it, like this, just kind of spamming pictures going all around it at different distances, hopefully with good lighting, because good lighting is necessary for this. And you just kind of take as many pictures as you can going around the object. Don't move the object. You can move yourself, but don't move the object because that will lead to inconsistencies and just kind of take every angle of it everything you want, and then you throw it into a meshing app. Now, here's the issue with that. I'm on AMD, and a lot of people in the comment section mentioned this last time. How do I do photogrammetry when I'm on AMD? I don't. The only app I know available to the public to use for free is an open source app called Meshroom. Now, the problem with Meshroom is it uses CUDA cores to accelerate the process, and AMD graphics cards don't have CUDA cores. Now, I do actually do photogrammetry, that wasn't entirely true, but I do it on my laptop with an RTX 2060. And as you can imagine, that takes a while. So I won't be able to show you guys the process here on camera, but don't worry, there's a lot of videos for you guys to check out. Meshroom is actually incredibly, incredibly cool. And while it does take a while to process whatever you're looking at, it's also really simple to use. You take all the images that you have taken and throw them all into Meshroom and after that, start the process and hopefully all going well, you shouldn't get any issues. Plus, if you guys do do this, please join our Discord. I really want to see what you guys create because I, I really love photogrammetry. Now, whatever you guys create, I highly doubt you're going to be able to beat my creation because I went a step further, guys. I didn't scan my room. I didn't scan an object. No, no guys, I scanned the entire estate. Now you may be asking yourself, why and how? Well, drone deploy. If you have a DJI drone, you can actually download Drone Deploy onto your phone and plan a route and the drone will fly on its own and take hundreds of pictures of anything you want to scan. Then you can either throw it onto the Drone Deploy website, which is paid, or onto a meshing app and boom, you have an entire project. It's insanely, insanely cool. And as you can see going over me right now, I threw it into Tilt Brush just to see how Tilt Brush would react to an OBJ file so large and it worked. So you know what guys, 
I think now we need to create a VR chat room based off my OBJ file. That, that would be pretty funny. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to show you guys is that the sky is the limit. That was bad. That was very bad. But you guys have endless possibilities. You get what I'm trying to say. I would really love to see what creations you guys create. And that is where we end today's video. I hope that even though I couldn't show you directly the tutorial, that I gave you enough information to get you guys started on photogrammetry. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down below. And that's that, guys. Just before we end this video, however, I want to apologize to all the Americans yesterday whom I greatly triggered by saying patent instead of patent. If I had known that you guys prefer me to say patent, I would have said patent, especially since I'm Polish. So patent, it's, it's like the same thing. But that's just not the way I was taught, because what I said was actually not incorrect. Except what I said yesterday was incorrect, because I said it was a British accent. Apparently it's not. Um, I don't know why I thought it was British. That makes no sense. I'm in Ireland. It's an Irish accent. And if you want proof of that yourself, just hop onto Google Translate on google.ie and click the little speak button. Patent. 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 So I'm not even going to try pronounce the British variant of patent, patent, but for future reference, I'm going to do my very best to say patent instead of patent to hopefully not trigger that amount of you. And thank you so much to everybody that either just made a very funny joke in the comments section or was genuinely trying to help me out. And then there was just of course, there, there always is the people that just got instantly triggered and they were like, I'm never coming back to the channel. And I was just there like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you guys are not yet part of the community, make sure to join our Discord down below. Make sure to join our Reddit where I want to see you posting your spice memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300%, mysticalstore.com, and merch that doesn't put a huge ad on your body. I don't have the merch yet, April 22nd. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button, if you're forehead, dig my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.